Today we're heading to a car meet as an undercover cop with this Dodge Hellcat. We have got word that this LaFerrari that was stolen might be located in southern Iowa. So we are en route there with our new Dodge Hellcat. This thing is completely undercover. All the lights are undercover, but I can flip a switch and they are on. So we're going to hopefully catch this guy that robbed Nebraska of a $5 million Ferrari. If you guys didn't see last episode, we were on bridge lockdown and he got away. So we're going to go there. Hopefully he's going to be showing up. We've got lead from a lot of FBI agents. So I'll see you guys when we get close to Iowa. Alrighty, boys, we're about 15 minutes out until this car meet in Iowa. So we're getting pretty close, and we got word from detectives that there is actually a few other vehicles there. So there's about seven vehicles. They have no sign of the Ferrari. But I think we're going to go there anyway, get positioned up, because if you guys don't know, I've got these antennas on the back, and I have to have these to communicate with detectives and if there ever needs to be a backup call so we have to have these but they do look a little suspicious so i was thinking we should get there maybe before the ferrari gets there that way they don't really see us coming in as a cop if you look at it from the front it looks pretty undercover besides that light bar in the middle but it looks good and uh we should have no issues so here we go we're entering the city i heard it was located at red marble bowling so we're gonna pull in there we're gonna go around the back side though and we're gonna take the furthest let's call it parking spot in this car meet so we're gonna go around back i'll show you guys what i mean there's some people walking around there and then there's about a couple of guys bowling inside so it'll be kind of a good move to move in on these ferrari thieves but uh here we go we're gonna park next to the rolls royce i don't think this guy sees us so let's just get it positioned further in the back like from this angle it just looks like a hellcat so let's back it in all righty there we go we made it to the car meet let's go say hello to some other guys here there's a lot of nice cars rolls royce porsche dang they parked that thing pretty close there uh bmw we'll check them out but hey how's it going sir hey there how are you oh hey how's it going cowboy uh what car is yours it's aston martin behind me nice nice what uh model is this the let me guess the vanquish uh, vantage oh okay got it the aston martin vantage okay this is pretty cool what's the price on one of these bad boys like 100 mil no 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 like 400k okay okay very very cool uh yeah what other cars are here is there supposed to be any more people showing up uh i don't know what's this car Oh, uh, that's my Hellcat, Dodge Hellcat over here. Millennium yellow. Very, very nice. What do these antennas on top do? Oh, you know, I just use that to radio and fast food calls, like all that other stuff, you know, whenever I'm hungry. Huh, very cool. Yep, that's about it. And then, uh, all right, there's a Rolls Royce. This thing's pretty cool. This is like a two-door, so this is a little bit nicer of a model. They call this the Mansory package. Nice. And the Porsche, this is a 911 uh, Turbo S. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. Very cool. It's got a nice wing on the back, too. Check that out oversized spoiler look at the exhaust pipes those are pretty sweet well that's cool and then i got a bmw here nice nice i like it and then here's his aston martin and an audi r8 so that's pretty sweet um where are the other guys at uh i don't know okay yeah yeah are they, are they bowling inside probably yeah yeah most likely um you want to race while we wait for more people y you want to race that all right i'll race your aston martin i'm in a dodge hellcat though 702 horses Watch this. This is going to be pretty funny. I'm going to light him up because uh, I'm an undercover cop. We're going to drag race in the street and then I'm going to chase him down. And we'll use the sirens too. Yeah, line it up over there. Looks good. Right here. Yeah, yeah, that's good. We're going to race to the end of the street, okay? On the count of your horn. You can honk it. <laughs> My horn's a cop horn, so I can't really do that. Hit it. There we go, boys. And we're off. Oh my gosh, he's moving, boys. Ready? Light it up. Lights and sirens. Check this out. We're going after him. Oh, my gosh. All over the vehicle. Pull it over. All right, we got him, boys. Step out of the vehicle. Hands up. You know how fast you're going? You know that uh, street racing is illegal, and you're on the wrong side of the road. No, you are on the wrong side of the road. Okay, okay. Well, I'm going to have to write you a ticket for street racing. Don't tell any of the other guys, though, but I'm going to be asking them to race, too, so they might get uh, ticketed. Oh, you're a bad cop. Yep, yep. All right, let's print this ticket out here. He's doing 107 in a 50-mile-per-hour zone. There we go. Print it out. All right. Let's go hand it to him. Yep. Just sign, sign, and you'll be good to head back to the meet, or you can leave. I'm out of here. I'm not, I'm not going back to the car meet with you there. All right. Whatever, sir. Well, uh, have a good day. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he just hit my car. Oh, my gosh. No way. Whatever. It's a uh, department-owned vehicle. I don't really need to fix it either, so... And he's off. Look, he's speeding too, of course. All right, let's head on back to the car meet. Like that guy said, there might be some more people showing up. So we want to see if we can find this guy. 
that stole the green Ferrari. He's probably going to be showing up late just because, you know, it's his type of guy. He's a thief, so he probably wants to come in last. I don't know, make a grand entrance or something. But uh, here we go. Let's get back into the car meet. There's still a couple guys here. They're all bowling, though. I don't know where everyone else is at, but I'll let you guys know if we see any sign of the green Ferrari. And if we do, we're going to chase him down in our undercover cop car. Are they doing what I think they're doing? They're street racing. All right, boys. Well, we got to go back out with the Dodge Hellcat. Oh, oh, there we go. There goes BMW. The Audi stopped and saw me. Light him up, boys. Lights and sirens. Pull over the vehicle now. Pull it over. Going in for the pit maneuver. Oh, he crashed it. Not what I wanted. Stop the vehicle. Let's pin him into the fence. There we go. Hey, step out of the vehicle. Step out. Hey, you're going to get tased. Don't run away. Don't run away. Freeze. Freeze. This is your last warning. If you keep running, you'll be held for felony charge of running from the police. Oh my gosh, he's running fast. Hey, there you go, boys. Taser, taser. Got him. Got him. Here we go. Let's put him in cuffs, boys. Hey, do you know what you were doing back there, sir? Ha, <laughs> You knew exactly what you're doing. You're about to street race that Audi. Well, nice try. I'm an undercover cop, so nice to meet you. I'm going to walk you back to my cop car. You're going to jail, boys, for running from the police. That is definitely not allowed to run from the cops. If you would have stopped, you know, you maybe would have got a ticket for street racing, but I guess today's your unlucky day. All right, boys, we got to run this guy into the local station real quick uh, with the Hellcat, and then we're going to head back to the car meet. That's two people down, and they aren't even the guy we're looking for. But since we're a cop, we technically do have to arrest them and pull them over and everything. So, all right, here we go. He's in the back of the car. How you doing back there, sir? Well, good. It's going to be a lot worse in jail. So, oh, there we go. Spin out. We're going to take you into the local courthouse because that's where the jail is, guys. So, we got to stop there. They do have a jail to hold them until he gets transferred to the prison. So, uh, let's see. The back doors around the other side. Here's the courthouse. There he is. Let's drop him off. All right, we dropped him off. He's all good to go. Let's head back to the car meet, guys. We are, like, taking these guys out like flies. We need to go ahead and get back to the car meet. We're looking for the, the stolen Ferrari. I mean, I don't know what's going on. Okay, guys, we're getting back to the car meet. Looks like there's some new vehicles there. As you can see, there's, like, a lifted supercar or something. So let's pull around back. We're going to take that last spot again so that we don't go notice because it is tricky, like I said, with these antennas. So there we go. We got some vehicles on the end there. The Rolls, the Porsche, and the Audi are still here. The Audi obviously did not street race. But he lined back up, but let's check it out. We got a Bentley. Is that a Bentley? That is a Bentley. It's a Continental GT on some tracks. And we've got a Lamborghini STO. Wow, this thing is clean. I love the blue on it with the orange accents. It's pretty awesome. They're all bowling inside. They're playing for money, so that's kind of crazy, but... You got the blue and the orange stitching inside, the nice seats and everything. So very cool. The car meet ends in 20 minutes. So hopefully this guy shows up. If he does, guys, I'll check back in with you. I hear something loud idling over here. Oh, all right, guys, act natural, act natural. I think he's going to pull in that first spot there. That's the guy. That's the green Ferrari he showed up. Oh my gosh, no way. Whoa, okay. He doesn't know how to back up the car. That thing's quick too. It looks like he burned some rubber off those tires. Let's just hide behind here. We'll talk to him when he gets here. I want to kind of like know the suspect because... We have no identification because he just came racing through the checkpoint yesterday. So hopefully we can find out who this guy is. Hey, sir. How's it going? Hey, mate. How are you? Uh, very good. Uh, this is a nice car. Did you just buy this thing? Yeah, I might. Picked it up yesterday. Five million dollar. Five million dollars? Dang, man. I like it. Uh, how much is uh, horsepower on this thing? Uh, about 700. All right. All right. Very, very cool. Um, you want to check out some of the other cars? Let's do it, mate. Looks like there's some Lambos, there's some Audis, there's uh, a Porsche, and there's also a Rolls Royce. And then check it out, they even have a Hellcat down there. Isn't that crazy? Well, I might always wanted one of these, but... Wait a minute. What's that little thing on top of the... You see that? What do you mean? See, I don't know whose car is that. I don't know. Is it yours? No, no, no. I, I'm the one driving the Porsche right here. The red one? Yep, that's me. Oh, okay. This is weird. I, there's like this police radar scanner on top. I've seen these before. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I think I think he's bowling inside the guy, but uh, hands up behind your back. You're under arrest. It's me. It's actually my car. So turn around. You're under arrest for stealing a green Ferrari from Nebraska Ferrari dealership. Uh, going to put you in cuffs here. Anything you say and do will be held against you in the court of law, and you have the right to a lawyer. Okay, so go ahead and follow me to the car. You're going to prison. That's right. You're going to a state prison. You have three felony charges on you. One from running for police, one through destroying a police checkpoint, and obviously the third one is armed robbery of a dealership. So we're taking you to the local courthouse where you'll be held until you're transferred to the local prison. So Good job. You just got caught. You shouldn't have had to do a car meet with a stolen vehicle. That's probably your bad move. Let me out of this car, mate. I don't care. Yeah, well, you're going to care when you go to prison. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have a good one, officer. I'm getting out of this one. Oh, yeah. You're not going to get out of this one. All right. Right through this door here, sir, and you'll uh, you'll be good to check in. There he goes. All right, guys. Well, we finally caught the supercar thief of the Ferrari. 
If you guys didn't check out the last video where we did a checkpoint and he managed to get through, make sure you go check that out. And you also do drop a like on today's episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.